Hello there. Well, you guys know me, and I like to move things around from time to time. Um, it's just something I've always done, and especially like with furniture, I just like to move things around sometimes. So yeah, we are, as you can tell, somewhere completely different. I have moved all the pets into the living room area down here. You guys want to see what a previous look like? previous. You guys want to see what it previously looked like over here? I will leave that video link down below. I have this section um, like as a little nursery because we're kind of limited to bedrooms down here. The room that the hamsters are in, like I had showed you guys before, it's kind of like a closet slash room. I went ahead and brought her bed into that room and I brought all the pets over here. And the baby's kind of getting to the point where she doesn't need to like like sleep right next to me I feel like she needs like her own space now and you know just her quiet time I just really wanted her to have like her little area and privacy so I decided to move her into that room I'm gonna show you guys that in just a minute it's not completely finished um, I still want to like do a lot of decorating in there for her and make it look really really cute day I just want to kind of update you guys on what I did this weekend. Give you all like a little tour of what I had done. So we have like a ton of birthdays this month in July. Um, like my dad just had birthday. I have birthday on July 17th. And I know that Tara Pickles 12807 also has birthday this month on the 13th. And a bunch of you guys were leaving me comments as well that your birthdays are in July. So it's just really, really exciting. Well, I'm not really that excited about another year older, so. Not too excited about that, but I do love birthdays. Okay, I wanted to bring that up real quick because um, Lori from Lil Lil Lily, Lori from Little Lottie's Heartland, um, sent me a little birthday gift or package here, and I just wanted to thank you so much. We're gonna be opening this up on camera in just a bit. I just thought it was so very, very thoughtful of her to send me something on my birthday. Even though it's not my birthday yet, I cannot be patient anymore, so that is why we are going to open this today. So it'll be a little early birthday present. I hope that's okay, Lori. You guys know me, I'm very impatient with things at times. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have done behind me you guys I left the room for like a second and my daughter got in to the hamster treats so now I just got a big mess and apparently I didn't close this jar <laughs> completely so that was my fault I'm just gonna clean this up quick okay so let me just kind of show you what's going on here and what this whole little area looks like. And we got George from Peppa Pig right here hanging out with us too. Right, George? Daughter's actually obsessed with Peppa Pig and I love it too, it's just so cute. And Max and Luna are right here on the couch with us and I really apologize but the couch is kind of messy. We were watching Twilight last night to like three in the morning, yes, Twilight. I really haven't cleaned up the couch yet, huh Luna? Luna. Luna. Luna, Luna, hi. Oh yeah, that is like basically what it looks like. Um, I know my fairy lights look like crazy out of control right now. I'm trying to like figure it out um, because I absolutely love fairy lights and or like Christmas lights. I just think it makes your room look so cozy and I cannot be without them so. They kind of look like really strange right now. Kind of like hanging all over the place. First, I brought Mochi's cage over here. I got everything sold kind of down here, which I still need to go through a few things. Um, I just went ahead and put some of the things um, that you guys had sent me and then some of the photos that I had. Do you guys remember Coco? Oh my gosh. I got Coco right here as well. I really need to print out some photos of my previous hamsters and I want to hang them up as well. Like, because like these right here just like Google images of hamsters these were not like mine this one is and I really want to get some photos 
printed off of the, my previous hamsters and like hang them up. Just went and put the fish tank right here. And if you guys are wondering, I'm like in the process of putting the Anubias on a piece of driftwood. Um, I already got this piece connected to the little decoration in there. So I got that one done and this one I still need to. I did order like a light fixture that's gonna like cover like most of the tank. So it kind of like acts as a cover and a light at the same time. So that actually should be coming in today. You'll probably like see it in my upcoming videos. Um, at some point. Like I had said in my previous video, I want to get a bunch of taller plants. You guys are leaving me so many amazing suggestions and like tips and stuff and I just want to let you guys know how much I appreciate all of that. You guys have been really really helping me out and um, I also at some point want to get like little baby snails. Um, to go in the tank with the beta as well. So I'm just like super excited about that. At this little guy right here, um, I am going to be putting on a piece of driftwood here in just a little bit later. And yeah, so that's like basically the updates on the tank at the moment. Over here, I went ahead and brought the Critter Nation over. This is, I actually like turned it, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I turned this into like a little cat area for my cats I did have it in where my bed is at like by the window on the opposite side of the room here um, but I thought it would be a nice little hangout for my cats as well they love to just like lay in there and sleep I just went and put the acrylic terrarium on top it is still empty as you guys can see sorry I have been keeping my eye open for um, a, another hamster as I know a lot of you guys have been asking me when are you getting a new hamster still like on the search um, for adopting a hamster um, just at the moment I've been a little bit busy with the whole like fish tank I just think it looks really nice up here and it'll be like really easy access for me um, because it's like up on top of something and I don't really have another table at the moment and I don't want to put it like on the floor. Also, you guys are probably wondering why, Pam, why would you put like your cat's little area right next to the hamsters? Remember that I have lids on all of my cages, had hamsters for many, many years. My cats, Luna and Max, are so used to the fact of me having, you know, hamsters that they are like, not interested at all. Um, they don't even like go on top of the cage or anything like that. Um, they just kind of just mind their own business to be honest. Like they don't even care. So that's kind of basically why um, I'm, I have this like set up like this. Here I just got some more cat things for them which I still I really want to get a new one and get something new for them like that one in there is basically almost done as well as you can see like Max has been having fun with that. This one right here has got to go here pretty soon. It's looking pretty bad. I'm gonna have to get a new one. And yeah, so obviously as you guys can tell I got Patch's cage right here. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me what size uh, eco habitat did I get. This is the medium size. They sadly did not have the large option available for me at the time. I got this cage off of eBay. There is an international seller on eBay that is selling these. Um, it is a little pricey with the shipping, but it is totally worth it. I love this cage so much. We come over here. This is like basically what um, I'm looking at. I still want to move this. I don't like how I have it like right here. So I'm trying to like figure out a spot. Probably over there. I'll probably move it over there. What you guys doing? I want to hang out. I want to hang out with my babies. Hi. Hi my pretty baby. We were up so incredibly late last night. It was like major movie night and um, I had Mochi on the couch with us which was really really fun. I think I posted a picture on Instagram and on my Snapchat um, but it was really nice to kind of like relax and watch some TV and kind of watch the hamsters as well and like take them out so. It was just a lovely evening wasn't it Max? Max? Okay. Are we that sleepy? Let me know. Look at that face. Luna, look at that face. 
Luna, you are so gorgeous. Look what came in, you guys. I expected it to come this early. I thought it was gonna come like a little bit later tonight. So I am going to unbox the fish tank light and yeah, let's go put this together. This is what it looks like. Um, it's by Nycru. And this should have been the medium sized one. So let's just hope that is the one that I got in the mail. So this is the little manual. It says aquarium hood light. And we're just going to, I guess, connect it. This is what it looks like. How pretty it is. Isn't that beautiful? That's just what it looks like. I am gonna go ahead and put it on the tank. So I'll be right back. Love it and it fits perfectly on the 10 gallon um, and it also has an option to go to the blue light look how pretty that looks I love it really nice to see like inside of the tank now so I am really happy about this Here we go oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. There is a card in the back. She actually has her address on a little sticker. Um, let me go and open this. Luna, I'm just trying to open this letter. Luna. I just about died. Look how incredibly sweet this is. It is going straight on my wall up there. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look perfect. And she just wrote me a little note right here. Thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday. I cannot tell you how incredibly sweet and thoughtful that was. And I appreciate it so much. And I have big smiles on my face right now. Big smiles. She sent us some cheesy chews. That is so nice of you. Oh my gosh, I can't get enough of these. And Lori knows I love these for the hamsters and Mochi and Patch love these. Thank you for sending us those. And oh my goodness, look you guys. She sent me a little beta book. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. So it's like basically like a whole care guide and like everything about betas and things like that and this is going to help me out tremendously. I'm going to be reading this at night when I am laying in bed and this is just amazing. It's like the perfect gift for me seriously because I'm like really getting into this now and I can't wait to bring our first beta home. I'm just so excited. So. This means so much to me, Lori, and I appreciate it. So thank you so much again for sending me something. Love this card, look how cute, yay. The lighting is probably really terrible in here right now, um, so I'm really sorry about that. But this is what the room looks like now, and I got the crib right there. I brought in the couch and I brought in like her stuff right here. Also have like this Ikea shelf here that I want to put together for her for like, you know, belongings and, and stuff like that. I just have like a ton more decorating to do in here, but this is just what it looks like for right now. I'm super excited for her. I wanna get like a little rug and um, we're gonna be bringing all of her toys in here as well. So yeah, that is basically what the room looks like now. It doesn't it look like totally different. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really just wanted to kind of keep you guys updated on what I kind of did in here. There is someone mowing the lawn outside right now but I don't really have time to wait until he is done. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I love you. I will talk to you down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!